if you haven't noticed already, a lot of my content on this channel, Gwasim Doge, is largely influenced by the internet. Meme culture, music, games, and humor and whatnot. And I suppose, in some way, a lot of my life has been influenced by the internet. And I remember always adoring it, and I've always wanted a phone for so many years, because I saw my brother watching all these hilarious videos, and that was in the early 2010s, so YouTube was at its peak then. And I don't remember exactly what I thought, but I guess I just remember staring at the screen and watching all these entertainment series and just thinking, I want to do the same thing. And I guess in a way I got to through this channel, but I sometimes find myself questioning why I wanted that, why I would even want to entertain others on the internet. I mean, one could argue it's for self-expression. Maybe it's a way to, maybe there's a good feeling that comes with making people laugh. And others may say that it's for validation that you exist. And I'll admit, it's a, it's a mix of all of those. But recently, I feel like this desire to build my influence online has really died down in the past few months. And there's a variety of reasons. I feel like one of those reasons is because I feel like this channel, it's outdated. It's outdated from who I truly am. And I just have the feeling that it's already served its purpose. Let me explain. So, I started this channel when I was about 10 or 11 years old. And that was during the, like, what would I call it? That was during the time that a lot of people were milking the internet to its fullest. Like, you got all these rich people, rich YouTubers. You have all these funny and cartoony memes. And people just coming up with silly scenarios. Um, but. What I haven't really mentioned is that I hadn't always started this channel for me. I s it was at some point in elementary school, like late elementary school, where I saw that I found out that people in my classes had YouTube channels, and I thought, oh, that's cool, I want to do the same. And so I did. But I didn't realize that there would be so many rules and standards around being a YouTuber, and I didn't know what was to come in 2019 and onward. To me, the internet was just one giant chat forum. Like, I thought it was like one of those kids' websites where you talk to people with avatars, except you can't move the avatars. Yeah. That was the time that I think Club Penguin died and I needed another outlet. Um, so, I started this channel 
with the purpose of building community and I guess in a way expressing my friendships with my other YouTuber friends at the time. I'm not gonna name who they are, but but at some point the friend group just kinda departed and that happens especially in adolescence okay i entered middle school and at the time i was i wasn't really in many good social situations and my self esteem really took a dip and that's kind of when i started to depart from the friend group and i and along with the departing of that friend group i i feel like i departed from this channel too and i guess after covid oh my gosh no 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 don't say that word <laughs> no i meant c19 the c19 pandemic that I just kind of knew at that point that my channel would no longer peak. But I posted anyway, uh, I think in 2022. No, 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 I meant 2020. I started posting again, specifically like drawing videos. Because when I did start this channel, I secretly always wanted to post art. But I didn't because at the time, there was really this, I guess this hate group against like artists, young artists specifically and stuff. So I never posted art, but I finally got to post art in 2020, like I've always wanted to. And at the time, the main reason I posted and, like, drew a bunch of this stuff was to recover from mental health. And I suppose it was, like, my therapy because I couldn't go out of the house to see a therapist. Um, alright, I'm editing right now, and that's actually a lie. I actually did go to therapy online, but... But drawing just performed wonders that therapy could never do. Posting this stuff reminded me of the good in myself instead of the bad that I've been told for so long. It was a reminder that I'm not entirely bad. And I guess in some way, these videos that I posted it was a way to appeal and express my inner child a bit. However, I realize that I've been posting to cope with certain things and to make myself feel better about myself. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. It was just that it became my only coping mechanism to a point where I would prioritize my channel over other things that needed some attention in my life. But when I entered high school, I started to think more about my future in such a career education and relationships and stuff and i think that's when i started to put my channel to the side i think i i said i left in like i think it was my sophomore year but i then started another channel to develop my portfolio and practice animation but in the back of my head I feel like I wanted to return to my channel, and I didn't really know why. 
I guess there's always been some sort of certainty behind posting on this channel. But because of my intention, my original intentions behind this channel, even subconsciously, I feel like I've been having to put on a facade just to allow myself to post, but not posting or expressing from heart to heart. Part of me has questioned if it's because I care what people think. And if you post on the internet, yes, you do care what people think to some degree. But I realize that I haven't really been posting what I wanted to post on this channel because this channel no longer has a purpose. And I don't really... I don't really know if I should even give it another one. I have really have nothing to cope with. I have no friend group to share this channel with. And I really, I've really been prioritizing my life in the real world than my online identity. But I guess I really wanted to post more, like, long-form content, like, philosophical videos. <laughs> no, 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 that- no, I'm not a video essayist. I- I mean, like, videos that are more deep, I suppose. But I feel like I've also been hesitant to post on the internet because- I guess a lot of people have become so individualistic that I guess it's created this social sphere of lack of empathy. And I guess in a way, I worry that social media is fueling that atmosphere, and I don't really want to contribute to it. But at the same time, I really want to change the atmosphere, or at least contribute to the change and make people's days better. But I realize that I, I know I won't always please everyone. And I guess it's kind of sad that a lot of people don't, a lot of people seem to prefer short-form content over long-form content. What am I even saying? I guess what I'm saying is, it's quite obvious to me that my new content isn't really appealing to everyone. And that's okay. It hasn't really been about the views. But if, I guess this channel has always been a reflection a bit of my troubled self. And a part of me wants to leave this identity behind and create a more whole version of myself. I've been taking a lot better care of my physical life lately. And physical life doesn't always mean like exercise and eat healthy. I'd mean like relationships and school and preparing myself for the future is what I mean by physical life. Life outside of the digital world. And I do feel more whole. But upon th these experiences, I realize that I no longer want anything to do with this channel. This doesn't necessarily mean that I'll be off of YouTube or social media completely, because that's impossible, especially if... Come on, it's genius that 
never mind. Um, but I'm just saying that I need a bit more time to reflect before I even do post again. And this video is just to kind of check in. And to the people that have listened to this entire thing, thank you for caring enough to spend half an hour listening to what I want to say. And it's probably only 0.05% of my subscribers. So am I leaving this channel? Yes, probably. But if I start another channel, it's gonna be from a place of wholeness instead of trying to cope with something. And I hope in some way I can extend that wholeness to others as well. And I guess I never really got to say this, but thank you for 12,000 subscribers. I just wanted to say that before I would never get to say that again. I'll probably still post on my second channel, which is just like music and stuff. Maybe some. I'll be more attentive to that channel. That's what I'll what I'm sure of. I'll still be active on Pinterest too. But I just I just feel like I need to leave behind something that that gets me confused with who I am, I guess. Because I know that a lot of the stuff on my channel isn't really me anymore. And apparently YouTube thinks that people stay the same forever because I still have copyright strikes from, like, videos from five years ago. Um, but not anymore, because I'm out. <laughs> I'll still probably stay updated on my community posts, but don't expect any more videos on this channel. I'm sorry if I've been building up false hope and hype. But over the past few months, I feel that I'm more sure of myself than I have been before. So, goodbye, I guess. And have an amazing day. And also, go ahead and take care of the tasks that you want to take care of today. You're excused.